Hey guys, this is TJ Plays Now, and today we are back with another episode on the Picks and Sticks server. This is going to be a little bit of a special update, or a special video for you guys, just because I haven't done a video in about a week and a half now, and I just want to recap you guys on everything we have done on the Picks and Sticks Season 2 server so far, so that way you guys can be ready for what we have to come. So today, do not worry, we are going to be going into slash game mode, we are going to be going into game mode spectator today, so that way we can fly around the world. We will end off back here in survival mode, so don't worry about that. But I want to go ahead and showcase everything that's happened here on the Picks and Sticks server so far. We have this very, very beautiful fog, and a whole bunch of crazy stuff's going to be happening today. So, to begin things off, we started here at Spawn. Spawn has been developed by a whole bunch of different people. Um... All this stuff over here, you guys know it's by... Mm, we have some stuff by 8-bit. I really wish I could see my cursor. That is a thing that... Eesh, we'll probably go into game mode creative, so that way we can see the cursor and I can punch around. So we got some stuff by 8-bit. We have... I'm pretty sure that was by Ari. He might be coming back here soon. Then we have some stuff by Tessar5. And then we have my build that really never got finished and it's off center because yeah that i don't know i that was an interesting build it's just my one shop that i have then we have this shulker box shop by 8-bit very very beautiful shulker box shop not gonna lie then we have all of this stuff way over here from my spawn house and i'm pretty sure someone else used one of these houses as a spawn house but spawn house was here we remember that. I connected two houses together to make it look sort of very nice and interesting. Then I worked out all of this stuff. I was going to be doing some crazy stuff here and probably still will here very shortly. Not here very soon, but soon enough. And that could really use a glowstone block right there, but oh well. We'll do that later. <laughs> I'm just showcasing everything today. I'll, I'll remember that though. I'll remember it. But I built this canal, all of this canal, from, like, right here and on was man-made, I do believe. All of it's been dug out, and it's gonna look really fancy once I can get it all finished. We have a couple more of these docks. Then we have, this was supposed to be, like, a fishing shop, almost. I can't even remember. But, eesh, yeah. It was an interesting idea. I really like the build style and whatnot, but didn't actually get turned into a shop yet still not that great nor has the backside been finished yet that really needs to be finished but i really like the look of it even now then we come way over here when i was caving i found the spawners we know about this hopefully hopefully you guys might know about it if you don't well here you go i just punched that stone i should not do that be careful <laughs> all right so we have the spawners we got a portal going through and we had a translocator elevator that doesn't work no more so we just use the staircase all the way down and down some more got double spawners we know about this let's go in and get mode spectator real quick so that way we can phase through the walls and look at this spawner very 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 nice compact design what is with that weird lighting glitch who knows it just goes down into here and then all the way through these up and up and up this also connects to the other spawner which is right here now right next to the thing those were some very amazing spawner locations for us but we had this translocator elevator that no longer works sadly it takes us all the way back up also down here we had an enchantment table that's fully set up and a crafting table very nice stuff very nice stuff we'll go back into creative now pretty sure there's a keyboard shortcut to do that, but I can't remember it. I probably could. Well, that's that. Then we came all the way over top of this mountain. Over here, sort of close to spawn. Not super close, though, because this is an iron farm, and we have to keep away from all the other doors. Although, that's a door right there. That, I hope that doesn't actually mess with it. <laughs> uh, we have tons of zombies in here, making the monster or the iron farm work. This is just like one of those production things that, <coughs> ooh, excuse me, that you just don't show 
in too many things. I think we've shown it off in one or two episodes, maybe. Then we come over here and we have Carp's house. Carp did pretty cool stuff. I like his roof styles, but the building blocks he chose to do with it, not the greatest. Then we come all the way over here to my path. This path took me the longest time, and it looks like a creeper's blown up on it recently. That's upsetting. I really like this path. It just goes all the way across, all through here, and this way, we got that bush. <laughs> and then it stops here abruptly because, well, I gotta work this field out and some other stuff. But it goes this way, all the way over here. We have a broken down cart. I think that that looked amazing. And the best part about this is the way that this field comes into perspective. Like, you just sort of see it right there. It's, it's the coolest thing ever. And I'm gonna go ahead and set the time to day, just so that way we don't have to deal with, like, not being able to see nicely. I like being able to see. So, let's relook at that now in daytime, just in case you guys couldn't see that. And, you see, it just, it just creeps out of that, and it looks really, really fancy. Then we have a little thing right here that this skeleton's sitting inside. And that's that. Then we have this little totem pole or whatnot. <laughs> I was gonna put a sign on it at one point in time. And we have this sort of interesting bridge. I tried doing this bridge, but survival mode's hard to build bridges like this. I think it's not bad, though. It goes across, as it should. And then it comes over here, and then this curves around over here. We also have custom trees. I don't know. Every single tree over here in this forest is a custom tree. None of them are the vanilla trees. They're all, like, special spiky sort of trees. I really like that. Then we come over here. We have two or three more custom trees. I was originally going to do, like, a nice cherry tree right here, but it just didn't look right. And I'm really bad at doing cherry trees, first thing. And then, like, the way that you do the trees in survival is really, really hard. I could probably do it if I had string or whatnot. So then we come over here to the castle I'm working on currently, and man, this is a project and a half. I really like this. We come inside, and you see the giant throne room. It's just so beautiful looking. We have this staircase to go down. The down staircase doesn't actually go anywhere just yet. just goes off in a straight line. Then we have, let's get up here. Then we have this staircase that goes up, up, up. And this sort of goes somewhere. Nowhere of importance yet. We got two shulker boxes that have some stuff in them. And this just goes up just that much so far, because I haven't really worked on that more. Then we have this amazing corridor. I had to use these logs because it actually connects. It's so close tied to the big room. This is the big room back there that that's down below. That's that room. It's so close to it that we have to tie in some of its features into this part of the build. So, these logs actually are visible on the other side. So we had to tie that in, and it's a very interesting technique that I did there. And then, this overlooks everything. It's very, very fancy looking. I, I like it. And then, you can walk all the way down here to this staircase, and come down here. And now you're on the bottom level, you can see inside of the throne room. You can also see outside of these little things these little things that are on the wall. It's sort of hard to see them on the wall, actually, believe it or not. Let's go ahead and throw that stuff away. Jump down here, so that way I can actually go and show you guys. You can sort of see them, yeah. There's a hole there, hole there, hole there, and hole there. That's four of them, I do believe. And it's very, very fancy looking. Now, there is a little bit more to the castle that you guys have not seen. Let's go back down here this time to go to it, and that is this side. Um, you guys probably have seen this if you're not brand new to the series, but if you are brand new to the series, this runs down here, and we have a chest room that I was building a sorting system for and haven't gotten actually around to building the sorting system. We also have the farm right here, the very, very fast, efficient farm that uses bone meal and all that magical stuff. We also got this room almost completely cleaned up. We've got a little bit more andesite that we need to work on, but oh well. Then we have this hallway. Dead ends right here for, 
I don't even know why it goes that far up, but who knows. Then we have this, which may or may not be a hallway in the near future. <laughs> and this wraps around here, and it also goes up here. Up here is dead end to the left, but to the right, it runs all the way down here. And then to the right again, we have a little room right here. And we can keep going through this to another dead end. Soon enough, there will be quite a lot of rooms all throughout the castle. And then this leads out over here on this side. Very, very interesting, like, corridor system. I love it. But that is the castle. So now we have two more things to go look at of our builds. Now, this build has taken quite a long time. A couple episodes already have gone into it. A lot of hours. But now we're going to go all the way across the mountains. Let's go ahead and game mode spectator so we can fly sort of fast. Fly all the way across these mountains. And then, let's see, I'm pretty sure it is right here. No, right here. Alright. So here we go. We have... No, well, we can do that again, but that's what I meant to do. Go into creative mode, just that way we can see our hand again. So here we have a giant hole in the ground that I've been working on clearing out for quite a long time now, actually. It has been a very fun process, and flying into here with an Elytra on is so much fun. Let's do that real quick. So, just flying in, it's the best thing ever. Just fly into the landing hangar, whatever you want to call it. I would call it a hangar, but this is the hangar that we were working on. Sort of Star Wars theme with this. Um, if you guys remember Udafa from Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. <laughs> I know these things. I, it's the sort of style that I'm getting at with this giant crater, and we're using different hangars. There's going to be one here. Well, there is one here. There's going to be another one sort of down there-ish in the wall at an angle, actually, so it's not straight on like this one. This one's straight on, though, because there's a giant mountain all around it, and I really like that. So, you can fly in like that, or if you want to be crazy and come up from very, very high, you'll be able to drop down into the thing and then go, foof, and bam, hit your head on the ground because it's not actually there. Then we have over here, very interesting style that I have going here. I was trying out resource pack at a point in time when I was doing this, but I still like it without the resource pack. Like, it's all messed up, and we got a sort of path going through there. Very, very nice looking. Then this is going to be like a little building, and we'll have a couple of these on each of these floors. We have another floor right down beneath us, and this one is actually going to be way bigger because it just goes further back. We're using this ravine to our advantage. This ravine is a very, very fancy, like, tool that we found. Thank goodness it was there, otherwise we would be doing this very different to what we're doing right now. But, that is this place. Uh, there's not much else to check out. Besides 8-Bit Ocean's place, we, we could go there. Um, trying to think. Yeah, let's just head there. He's got some really fancy stuff. And that could end the episode off, or... Ooh, hi there, Llama. Well, let's see. We need to just keep going this way. It's not that far away from our base, and I'm pretty sure... Yep, that is to... I just used special magical keys. So... This is 8-Bit Ocean's place, and it doesn't look like he's opened his Christmas presents yet. That's something. You guys remember that from last episode. But, nonetheless, there's another Christmas present there for- oh, looks like that one has been opened. Yes, yes. Maybe they were both opened from this side or something. I don't know. I want to actually see if he's opened it. No, he hasn't opened his. That's... Hmm. Well, okay. So, this is 8 Bit Ocean's place. I'm sorry I had to check that. Um, he's got a very interesting... Sort of a hangar, but not. It's, it's a storage system with very cool redstone stuff. Like, as we walk out, you can see it sort of close at a... That's just fancy kind of thing. I like it. Then he's got some automatic cookers and some auto farms and whatnot. All sorts of stuff all over the place. Got a little house. 
And then over here, I, he must have seen a tutorial for this thing, because this thing is legit, like, it looks fancy. <laughs> but then, what is this thing? I'm guessing this is a new automatic fisher. An automatic fishing farm, maybe? Yeah, it looks like it. I don't know where you look at it. Who knows how that works. But interesting. So, this is 8-Bit Ocean's place. He has a whole bunch of different automation farms and whatnot all over the place. And over here, he's got an enchanting setup. I like the way that this thing looks. I think he stole from someone else's idea, though. But, hey, that's not always bad. Getting ideas from other people, it works. He got a nice water fountain there. Quartz water fountain. Very beautiful. And then a couple more farms over here. And whatever this... Ah, another farm. And drop that, because we didn't earn that. Alright. And a tree farm. So that is 8-Bit Ocean's place. Now we can head back to spawn on the path that I made leading his base all the way to mine. So, wait. This is not the path. He met. Where does this path go to? Ooh. Working on something new, I see. I have not seen this. This is brand new to me. Man, this is... Shulker room. Ninja's room. Auto smelter. And chest room. Man, this is very fancy looking. Holy cow, look at... Wow. Fancy. I like the look of this stuff. Shulker room has... Key card if I named it. Um, doesn't look like there's actually any shulkers in there. I'm just gonna. No, no shulkers. I had to <laughs> check. Okay. That is very fancy. I like this style right here, too. Like, the camp style is very beautiful. Now, where's this head off to then? I like how it goes through this jungle. Or not really jungle, but roof forest. Uh, looks like the path's sort of been blown up, though. That's a problem and blown up again and it heads over here to whatever this thing is hmm maybe a, gonna be like a lighthouse or something i like this style though it's very interesting not renamed shulker boxes but oh well fancy i'm liking the styles that they have going i have not actually seen this i'm like brand new to that i like it so let's go back all the way to the path that I made. He made that path. The path that I made is just sort of... Just shoveling around. <laughs> sort of like you have to when you shovel around. It's right here. Um, no, it's right here. <laughs> oh, I'm lost. Which one is it? It's this one. Yeah. I don't know who made that weird pillar. I might have done that. <laughs> I do weird things like that sometimes, but this path, we'll just walk this path home. Very, very nice path. I like the way that it just weaves through the landscape, though. Like, it belongs where it is. I would work this path out way better, though, if I really wanted to spend the time on it, but I'm not into doing the paths at the moment. Right now, I'm more into the crazy building. I love doing all the kinds of building, though. But... This just heads through this. This was perfectly placed. I love the way that this looks. And then it heads down here. And you get some very nice wildlife that you just get to walk through. <laughs> I like being able to see off in the distance just a little bit too. Like, because you're on top of a mountain, but you're not really on top of a mountain. You also can see down there too, one of 8-bit, another 8-bit thing. <laughs> he has a lot of stuff, if you haven't realized. Um, I'm pretty sure the entrance is down here in the water. You just walk in. Oh, and the diamond door. Yeah. Let's go ahead and reclose the diamond door just so that way. There you go. And walk through that door. And you have this very fancy door. I like it. <laughs> Alright, so that is 8-bits um, water base, I think he's calling it. I don't even know what he's going to do there, but... He has it there. Alright, so now we walk more on the path. All the way up and over here. Going now into stone. And there's cobblestone there guiding you. Just so that way you know where the path is. I didn't really put much time into this path. Probably about 30 minutes because it's such a long path. 
and I wanted it to look mildly nice, but it's not that beautiful from the outside. If I spent probably a good more hour or two on it, it could be pretty fancy. But now we go through this forest. I'm just pretty sure it's just a regular forest because it's got both birch and oak logs. I like the way it goes through these trees, though. Like, you're super enclosed, but at the same time, you're almost not. And then we go sort of into the swamp, but then we go up and through this, and then back down, and then over here, past the rose bush, and up again, and up here, and then keep going up, and then back down. This path is very same-ish, but I like the way it just weaves through the, like, natural terrain that you got. Like, not most of this was terraformed at all. And then you gotta walk around the trees and keep walking. <laughs> Just keep walking. And then it, here is about to where I started having to terraform a little bit. Right here. I terraformed most of this because there was this river that went almost out to here, actually. I had to terraform it back and make it look sort of nice. And then we go up this and onto this gravel patch, which soon will be a city. Soon. And then this just leads all the way back around to the castle, if you guys could pinpoint where we were. This is the castle, and that is that. Let's go ahead and sleep in a bed real quick. And we will go ahead and get back over to the spawn where we started this episode. I really do hope you guys liked the episode. It was an interesting one to record. I It's been a long time since I've recapped on everything, so recapping on stuff... Very good idea. That looks very, very interesting terrain over there. But let's just run over here and then come into our house. Alright, so I do hope you guys had an amazing time watching. I'm going to go ahead and set myself into game mode survival now, so that way you guys know. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching this amazing episode. I I had fun doing it, going back and recapping things, it's an amazing thing to do, and I hope you guys now are caught up if you did not start from the very beginning of the series, because we already have 22 episodes now, I'm pretty sure this is number 22, I hope I'm not wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's number 22, so I hope you guys are like excited for 23 and everything that's going to come after this. This is coming out on Wednesday and Friday, don't worry, we still have another Picks and Sticks episode. Actually, this might even be out today on Monday that I'm recording it. I am not completely sure yet. It just depends on how long it takes to edit and then render it, and if it takes too long and it's past 12 tonight, then I'm not going to do it, but it should not take that long. I really hope I can get it done for you guys today, otherwise it'll be out Wednesday. I'm going to assume that it's Monday when it gets out, so I don't know why I keep saying Wednesday and Monday. I'm confusing you guys, and I'm confusing myself now, too. So I hope you guys had an amazing time watching, and we will see you guys in the next episode of Picks and Sticks. Or whatever comes out next. <laughs> Alright, see you guys later. Peace out.